Hi and welcome to my July review. We start July with a fantastic aspect. Mars makes a square to Pluto. Now Mars is in your uh, seventh house. It's a great time to work with others. Uh, you can achieve more and get more done in, in uh, cooperation with other people. Now Mars, Pluto gives you a lot of intense energy. Um, some of that can be directed into the home where Pluto is. So if there's any jobs, any projects that need to be done, there's a good chance now to get them done. Um, the only thing you need to be aware of with this aspect is it can cause uh, some kind of power struggle if you are uh, uh, inclined to get in, embroiled in that with other people, uh, but it's best to avoid. And then we have a couple of aspects of Mercury in the second. Uh, one is to Saturn and one is to uh, Neptune. So both of these have a creative element about them because uh, Saturn's in the uh, uh, fifth house of creativity and Neptune is a creative plan anyway. So Mercury can benefit um, from this creativity but it, it, essentially these two aspects will help you get jobs done because the sixth house where Mercury is, this is your daily tasks and routines so you can get things done there um, and so this is a good opportunity to put things right, get things done and get up to date. So we have another very intense and powerful aspect. Um, uh, Mercury makes a positive aspect to Mars, but the interesting thing is they're both at zero degrees. They've both just changed sign. Uh, Mercury's just moved into uh, Cancer and Mars has just moved into Taurus. So they're both at zero degrees, which is the most powerful degree of uh, each sign. So this aspect is going to give you a lot of initiative to go and make things happen. Uh, either it will be in the 10th house area of career and destiny or your public standard where Mercury can uh, increase your uh, uh, presence or it could be uh, sorting out finances, joint finances or, or planning, budgeting with Mars in the 8th uh, house. On the 6th uh, we have uh, an aspect between Venus, your ruler and Chiron. Now Chiron's in the 7th house. It's a great day for understanding and being compassionate with other people. It's a day when you can uh, use your uh, softer side of Venus to help heal um, someone who's uh, perhaps in need of a little bit of TLC. The sun moving through the 10th house this month is a very important time for career and your uh, destined path forward. Um, but on the 8th, it could be a day when you feel a little bit out of sorts because the sun makes a square to Chiron. Maybe a day when you need to listen to others rather than getting your point across. But there will be plenty of time of excitement because on the 9th, the sun makes a positive aspect with uh, Uranus. Now, this can bring a great deal of excitement. It's not a day when you want to be doing routine stuff. Be ready to change or to alter things at the last minute because this could be a day of, uh, of new people, new adventures, new things happening within your world. And then also we have a, a, an aspect between Mercury and Jupiter on this actually. Your confidence will be high and it's a good day to plan and put things into action. As we mentioned you're brimming with confidence and full of excitement but just keep a little bit of a uh, wary eye on things on the, the 10th because um, you could be a bit overconfident and you could be saying things that uh, you may be regret as Mercury conjunct so the black one is in that 10th hour so just make sure you uh, don't go upset and people think before you speak. Um, then uh, the following day we have the Sun making a positive aspect with the Moon's North Node. Now this is what we would say is a fated um, aspect because the Sun in the 10th, the House of Destiny, the way forward is making this uh, uh, positive aspect with the Moon's node in the 8th house, House of Destiny. So this is a time when something will happen. Either you'll get a sign or there'll be an event. Something will help to uh, uh, point you in the right direction. Make sure that you uh, uh, find the right path. And then uh, there's also an aspect from Venus to Saturn which allows you to see the bigger picture, to look at things uh, with an eye of reality, so to speak. And this has also got a creative element to it, but a practical side of creativity. And it's also with Saturn in that fifth, good time to uh, have some fun and enjoy yourself with Venus, um, your ruler, uh, making that aspect. On the 13th we have our full moon. This is not going to be one of the best full moons uh, because the moon is in Capricorn and Capricorn is a sign of detriment for the moon. 
Um, so the emotions are stifled, the feelings aren't able to express themselves as they would normally. Um, now the only good thing here is that the moon is in the fourth house, so this is the sign of Cancer, um, which is a, a little bit of a boost because it will negate some of that uh, negativity from uh, Capricorn. Now focusing on the home is now going to be important for the next couple of weeks um, because uh, you have been focusing a lot on career and destiny um, in the past and uh, now it's time to balance that, balance home and work and get things uh, running smoothly. Now, um, with the uh, moon being in the fourth house, it's not only about the home, but it's about you. You as a person and about connecting with your past and using this connection to prepare yourself forward. The fourth house is also about long-term planning. So this is a good time to think and maybe it will be better to have the emotions stifled a little bit so you can think more logically. Um, and uh, Capricorn being the sign of ambition will certainly help you to uh, work out uh, what you want to do going forward in the future. And with two other aspects on the uh, 13th, it's quite a busy full moon. Um, we have uh, Venus making an aspect to uh, Neptune in that sixth house. This is a time to make your um, work environment or your everyday environment a lot more pleasant, a lot more enjoyable. And there's also uh, a day when you might succumb to a bit of daydreaming, so try and concentrate on the task at hand. And then the other aspect is between Mercury and Chiron. Now, um, this is an aspect whereby it could trigger off past communication problems within relationships. Um, but you need to deal with this, don't avoid it, don't brush it aside, deal with it so that it uh, won't ever come back again. Between the 14th and the 16th, Mercury makes three aspects. The first one is to Uranus in the 8th house. Now Mercury in that 10th house, career of destiny, um, the 8th house is the house of transformation. And with Uranus there, the planet of change, um, there could be a lot that's going on around this time. Um, so it's not a time to be sticking to routine. You've got to be ready and open to any quick changes that come along. And uh, you've got to realise that there are no coincidences. Things all happen for a reason. Now the second aspect is to the Moon's North Node, so again we have opportunities that may be coming up here. A change of path, a change of direction, and it may be that you need to explore different avenues and, and look at things that maybe you wouldn't have looked at before. And the communication will be heightened on the 16th when Mercury and the Sun come together. Now this is always good because you're al allowed now to express yourself very openly and easily through the heart because the Sun rules the heart. So this is the best form of communication you can have, straight from the heart. The Sun and Mercury together make two aspects. Um, the first and seventh thing to Pluto. And Pluto's in the fourth house. So there could be a power struggle here between home and uh, um, career or destiny. Um, and there's something that you'll need to sort out, something that you'll need to overcome. Um, and maybe something that you particularly don't want to deal with, but you need to deal with it so that you can move on. Then the other aspect on the uh, following day is between the Sun and Mercury and a positive aspect to uh, Neptune. And Neptune's in that sixth house. So maybe time you need to look at your habits and you need to look at how you work. And maybe there's changes you can make there to uh, make your daily life, your daily routine a lot more uh, productive. On the 19th, just a word of caution, Mars makes a positive aspect to the Black Manilus, but this aspect allows uh, anger to surface very easily. It amplifies anger. So this is in the house of uh, your public standing. So it's a good idea to keep a lid on things and not go and say things in public that uh, might uh, ruin your reputation. This lasts for four days, so uh, just keep calm in those four days. Then on the uh, 20th we have Chiron going retrograde in the 7th house of relationships. So during this time it's a good time to work on any past wounds or any f current wounds for that matter um, to do with uh, relationships. And just be mindful that uh, you need to be a person in your own right within the relationship and just be wary that uh, the, uh, your partner doesn't trigger um, an old wound that you have uh, lying dormant. On the 23rd we have uh, the Sun moving into Leo and into your 11th house and joins Mercury who's just popped in there a couple of days earlier. 
Now this is going to shift the uh, emphasis a bit more onto uh, the eleventh house, which is about um, networking. It's about making connections within uh, your work area, within your friend circles, and also within groups. It's a good time to uh, join a group and, and get the uh, benefit of working within group situations. Um, the other thing is good for finances because it's the second house from the 10th. So it's money you make from your uh, career or from your business. And this is a great uh, time to uh, do this. And also with the Venus making an aspect of Jupiter, the Venus has moved into the 10th house career and now makes a positive aspect of Jupiter to also enhance the uh, benefit of uh, the financial side of uh, work, especially if it's with other people because um, Jupiter's in that seventh house. So combined effort will bring you a greater reward. 26 is not a good day for communicating with others. Um, Mars makes a square to uh, Mercury who's in Leo and he's in his detriment so he's not at his best anyway. And Mars putting the pressure on just makes him irritable and uh, uh, not very tolerant of others. Wait until the next day uh, when there's a more positive aspect of Chiron you'll be more open and compassionate and ready to discuss things. Also on the uh, 27th we have Venus coming together with the Black Moon Lilith and this always creates some drama and excitement. Um, this can bring new people into your life um, but it can also uh, uh, give you the uh, urge to uh, do something different, maybe a little bit more risky than you would normally do and have some extra fun. On the 28th we have the new moon, the new moon's in Leo, so it's a time to be bold, to be brave, to put yourself out there and uh, not be afraid to be uh, centre stage. It's also in your 11th house, it's great for networking, for working within groups and also for setting your new dreams and goals for the future. Now the two other aspects that happen to come with this new moon, um, first of all we have a conjunction between um, Uranus and uh, the moon's north node. Now we're both both of these have had aspects from uh, Mercury and the Sun but now they come together and this is going to be 19 days where the world could change for you because it's in the 8th house, this is the house of transformation so expect um, quick changes, sudden changes coming along that you need to embrace, you need to go with the flow, you need to uh, uh, look to the future now, you need to set your goals and dreams for the future and then uh, go with what uh, comes up. Now the other aspect is that uh, Jupiter turns retrograde. Now Jupiter retrograde in the seventh house means it's time to work um, on your relationships. It's time now to uh, see what you can give to the relationship. Um, see what you can do for other people. Um, and this would be a fantastic way to raise your consciousness um, and expand your, uh, your soul's um, knowledge of uh, relationships. To end the month of the 31st we have uh, several aspects all coming together. The most important of these is uh, uh, Mars. Mars joins Uranus and uh, the Moon's North Node and puts his energy into their uh, conjunction to make it a triple conjunction. This is in the 8th house, the house of Mars. So he's really wanting to make a difference now. So this is a time when you can really determine what your path forward is um, in a positive way and put the energy into making that happen. Now other aspects, there's an aspect from the Sun to Jupiter which will give you more confidence within your relationships and relating. Um, then there's also an opposition between Mercury and Saturn which will help you to get things organised, it will give you a more serious side to things, um, uh, allow you to plan and uh, make things happen. Then the other aspect, the last one, is uh, from uh, your ruler, Venus, to Chiron. Now, we spoke about Chiron being uh, retrograde in that uh, seventh house. Now, Venus will um, come along and either help you to uh, uh, move on in the healing process or it may bring up a, uh, a past wound from a, a love relationship. Either way, it's a good time to uh, uh, heal yourself in this area. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the July review. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If you'd like to leave me a comment, I'd be glad to hear from you.